Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can build your own Arduino controlled clapper. Now if you remember years back they used to have that TV advertisement on all the time. Clap on, clap off. The clapper. Well this is an Arduino based version of the clapper. Now I have it set up right now for just controlling one of those uh, super bright LEDs, the little piranha LEDs, um, some of the places call them. Um, there's a few other names, but they're the super bright LEDs. And you could actually run more than just one, but I just got it set up for one. But uh, if you didn't want to use this um, for a nightlight clapper, you could also, in place of the LED, just hook that wire to the input on this relay and then you put your VCC in your ground and then you could control 110 items. Um, you could turn your lamp off and on, TV off and on. Heck, you could even turn a coffee pot on just by clapping. But, um, word of warning, if you decide to use this information for doing something with 110 house current or 220, whatever, uh, do so at your own risk. Um, I'm showing you how to do this with an LED because that's safe, especially if you're a beginner. You're not going to electrocute yourself with what I have set up here. But uh, I am familiar with electronics and higher voltages. So when I build a project like this that I show you in my videos, I know what I'm doing. And um, you can go ahead and build it. Uh, just make sure you do the research and you check it out. Make sure to put this in a good box where no little kid's going to stick his finger in or whatever and get electrocuted. And just be forewarned. Stuff can happen. So, disclaimer, if you want to use the relay for high voltage, do so at your own risk. This video here is just for... Um, educational purposes and if you decide to use this information for that well like i said do so at your own risk but yes you can use a relay with this but let's demonstrate this working so i have one of these little super bright leds here and i'll just clap you can see turned on clap again turned off on off, on, off, on, off, clap on, clap off. Um, and this is super easy to set up, so what we'll do is we'll go through that next. And uh, of course you're going to need an Arduino board. And I'm using a Nano because it fits on this little board and I actually could have used a half circuit board but my other ones currently have some other projects set up on them that I'm working on for future videos so I had to use a full size board but um, you can use the, the Nano or you could use Uno you can even use a Mega if you wanted but I don't think you'd want to waste the money on a Mega for a little project like this um, a Nano or Pro Mini even a lily pad would work for this. Um, just a nice cheap Arduino board. Then we have um, our sound sensor board. And uh, you've seen when I clap it turns on. There is a little adjustment right here. And that's a potentiometer. And you can adjust that to uh, determine the sensitivity of how loud the noise has to be. Or our clap in the case we're doing before it turns it on or off so you just turn that and play around with it and um, it's like if you're setting this up with the LED as a night light and you snore well you don't want the LED coming on from snoring so you just turn it up a little bit so you gotta clap louder and that's all there is to that and of course we've got our um, LED here and uh, some of the places where I see these, I call them the Piranha LEDs. They're super bright LEDs. These are a little bit different than your normal LEDs. They are really, really bright. 
And on the camera, it doesn't look super bright. That's because I ran a big time resistor on here because if I let it be as bright as it could be, it would blind the camera and you would not be able to see what I'm doing right now. I have a 330 ohm resistor, if I remember correctly, hooked to it currently. Um, I did the math with Ohm's Law and stuff, and it came out around 33 ohms, actually, for full brightness without burning it out off your Arduino board. So um, you'll have to just check with whatever kind of LED you use for um, and do the Ohm's Law to figure out what resistor you need. But if you're using the relay with it, like you could actually use this for DC with a whole string of these is a night light and that would actually be pretty safe and I'd recommend that over trying to use 110 but uh, that's up to you how you want to do it and then uh, I'm just using a wall wart to power this because if you're making this night light thing I don't think you're gonna want it powered off your computer so I have that into the VN because um, I got I think it was 9 volts I got the set at right now coming in. And if you hook that to the 5 volt on the power rail, um, Arduino board would go pop. Instantly just go pop. And I accidentally did that one time. I wasn't paying attention. And, and hooked the power to the wrong spot. And I got a junk Arduino board out of that little project. But All right, well that's pretty much all there is to go over on how to construct this. Um, the full schematic, you will be able to find that on my website. Um, look in the description below and you'll find the link to the website and that'll have that on there. Plus I'll also have um, the sketch for the Arduino, which we will be going over in just a moment. We will be checking that out, but the sketch and the, uh, the schematic for how to set all this up will be on there. And I'll have the schematic also on there on if you want to use a relay with it. But like I said, do so at uh, your own responsibility. I'm not responsible if you burn your house down or electrocute yourself. All right, with that, uh, we'll go over to the computer then. And uh, we'll take a look at the Arduino sketch. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Okay. And we're back. I have the Arduino sketch brought up here. And like I said before, you can find a copy of this on the website. You can just go there, copy it, and then paste it right in your Arduino IDE. So let's just get right into it and go over it. Now to start with here, we have an integer, and we're calling that value. And what that'll be is it'll be a 1 or 0. That's if the um, that little sound module we have hooked up, we're digital reading it, not analog reading it. So it'll be a digital high or low, or zero or one, and we're just using zero, one. Zero being it's low and it's not triggered. One means there's the clap or a loud noise and it's triggered high. Then next, what we have is another integer. And uh, this is to store our position because we are checking both times. If we have the clap, which turns it high, we're checking to see if it's turned on already or if it's turned off and if we need to turn the light on or off or turn the relay on or off. The next we're defining and the sound, and that's pin three, and that's actually the sound sensor, the um, the output pin from the sound sensor goes right to your Arduino board pin 3. You can use different pins, any of the digital pins, just if you use a different one, change this number. But uh, for this tutorial, we're using pin 3. Then next, we're defining light at pin 9, and that's actually the LED. Um, and it's on pin 9. Now, this could be the relay or your LEDs. Whatever you're triggering when the clap or the loud noise is heard and it turns it on, this is the pin it's triggering. So you could also set this up to trigger more than one pin. Easily set it up to trigger more than one pin. Um, 
If you wanted to have it trigger the light, the LED on one pin, and then like maybe pin 10 or 11, 12, whatever, have it turn the relay on as well, easy to do, just add that in there. So next we got here is our void setup, and we're setting our pin modes, and we're just putting the, uh, the sound as an input, because like I said, that's um, pin three, and that's our sound board, our sound detection board. And then our pin mode for the light, which is output, which is um, for our LED or relay. And now next, we'll go down to the void loop here. Now what we're doing first is we're reading and we're using that integer, the value one or zero. So what we're doing is we're reading to see if it's a one or zero. So we're digital reading sound which sound is pin 3, which is our sound sensor. Now that sets that value of 0 or 1 into value. And then next we're going to check if value equals 1 and last equals 0, which means it's off and a, a clap or a loud noise has been detected. What we're going to do now is we're going to digital write the light to high so we're basically turning the LED on, or if you're using a relay, you'd be turning the relay on. Then next what we're doing is we're changing the last to one, so that when it goes through, when we clap again or make a loud noise, it knows the position so that next time, instead of trying to turn it on, it turns it off. And I'll show you that in just a second. Then next here, we just got a, a 500 millisecond, which is a half a second delay and that's, you know, if you clap a couple times and stuff, it's not turning off and on real quick. Because if you want to do like a double clap or whatever, it's just not turning it off and on, off and on really quick. Uh, it just takes a, a half a second delay. And that, that's pretty much just stability and keeps it from turning off and on real quick if there's a lot of loud noises. Now next what we have is the else if. So if it's one again and last is one, which means it's already on, what we're doing is we're turning it off. So we're putting the light to low. We're digitally writing it to low. So again, that would be your LED or your relay. You know, we're writing it to low. And then we're setting the last to zero. And then again, we're doing the delay. And uh, as you can see, that's the end of the sketch. This is a real, real super easy beginner's project. Um, I hope this information made sense to you. If you do have any problems, um, you could uh, leave a comment in the description below, but I do check my Facebook page more often. So if you got a question about this, I would recommend shooting that to my Facebook page. But um, if you don't wanna go over there, just throw it on YouTube. It just might be a, a couple days before I uh, get to you. If uh, you shoot the question to Facebook, I'll probably get to you within a day. All right, with that, um, can't really think of anything else to go over. Um, like I said, this is a real easy project for beginners. Um, recommend building it. Um, and I do recommend if you don't and are not experienced with uh, high voltages like 110 AC and stuff, don't use the relay. Um, do some research. Or if you got a friend that's an electrician, have him help you hook up a box to put that relay in to trigger it. That might be a good way to go. But uh, Okay, with that, uh, I'm going to say thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hunt today. I hope you have a great day and have fun building. Okay, and we're back. I have the Arduino sketch brought up here. And like I said before, you can find a copy of this on the website and you can just go there, copy it, and then paste it right in your Arduino IDE. So let's just get right into it and go over it. Now to start with here, we have an integer and we're calling that value and what that'll be is it'll be a one or zero that's if the um that little sound module we have hooked up we're digital reading it not analog reading it 
So it'll be a digital high or low or zero or one and we're just using zero one. Zero being it's low and it's not triggered. One means there's the clap or a loud noise and it's triggered high. Then next what we have is another integer and uh, this is to store our position because we are checking both times if we have the clap which turns it high we're checking to see if it's turned on already or if it's turned off and if we need to turn the light on or off or turn the relay on or off the next we're defining and the sound and that's pin 3 and that's actually the sound sensor the um, the output pin from the sound sensor goes right to your Arduino board pin 3 you can use different pins any of the digital pins just if you use a different one change this number but uh, for this tutorial we're using pin 3 then next we're defining light at pin 9 and that's actually the LED um, and it's on pin 9 now this could be the relay or your LEDs whatever you're triggering when the clap or the loud noise is heard and it turns it on this is the pin it's triggering so you could also set this up to trigger more than one pin easily set it up to trigger more than one pin um, if you wanted to have it trigger the light the LED on one pin and then like maybe pin 10 or 11 12 whatever have it turn a relay on as well easy to do just add that in there so next we got here is our void setup and we're setting our pin modes and we're just putting the uh, the sound is an input because like I said that's um, pin 3 and that's our sound board our sound detection board and then our pin mode for the light which is output which is um, for our LED or relay and now next we'll go down to the void loop here now what we're doing first is we're reading and we're using that integer the value one or zero so what we're doing is we're reading to see if it's a one or zero so we're digital reading sound which sound is pin three which is our sound sensor now that sets that value of zero or one into value and then next we're going to check if value equals one and last equals zero which means it's off and a, a clap or a loud noise has been detected what we're going to do now is we're going to digital write the light to high so we're basically turning the LED on or if you're using a relay you'd be turning the relay on then next what we're doing is we're changing the last to one so that when it goes through when we clap again or make a loud noise it knows the position so that next time instead of trying to turn it on it turns it off and I'll show you that in just a second the next here we just got a, a 500 millisecond which is a half a second delay and that's you know if you clap a couple times and stuff it's not turning off and on real quick because if you want to do like a double clap or whatever it's just not turning it off and on off and on really quick uh, it just takes a, a half a second delay and that, that's pretty much just stability and keeps it from turning off and on real quick if there's a lot of loud noises now next what we have is the else if so if it's one again and last is one which means it's already on what we're doing is we're turning it off so we're putting the light to low we're digitally writing it to low so again that would be your LED or your relay you know we're writing it to low and then we're setting the last to zero and then again we're doing the delay and uh, as you can see that's the end of the sketch this is a real real super easy beginners project um, I hope this information made sense to you if you do have any problems um, you could uh, leave a comment in the description below but I do check my Facebook page more often so if you got a question about this I would recommend shooting that to my Facebook page 
But um, if you don't want to go over there, just throw it on YouTube. It just might be a, a couple days before I uh, get to you. If uh, you shoot the question to Facebook, I'll probably get to you within a day. All right, with that, um, can't really think of anything else to go over. Um, like I said, this is a real easy project for beginners. Um, recommend building it. Um, and I do recommend if you don't and are not experienced with uh, high voltages like 110 AC and stuff, don't use the relay. Um, do some research. Or if you got a friend that's an electrician, have him help you hook up a box to put that relay in to trigger it. That might be a good way to go. But, uh, okay, with that, uh, I'm going to say thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hunt today. I hope you have a great day and have fun building.